Hello, I'm Tom and welcome to the Welsh Woodman Workshop. In tonight's video, I'm going to be unboxing my brand new laser cutter. It's a D1 laser cutter from Xtools. We're going to assemble it together and give it a test. So firstly, why do I want a laser cutter as a small craft business owner? So I can think of endless opportunities the laser cutter can give me. First of all, in branding my work, which is really important for me. Uh, secondly, I can make custom orders for my clients and make it really special with some customizable features the laser cutter can allow me to do. And thirdly, it opens up an array of lots of creative options and ideas in using the laser cutter in future projects. So I've been looking for a laser cutter for a while online and out of the blue, Xtools as a company contacted me and wondered if I'd be able to do a little review of their products. I'm more than happy to do that. Right, we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing. I've never done an unboxing before, so this would be interesting to see how the, the process goes. I know a lot of people get value from it, so hopefully this will help, especially if you're deciding what laser cutter to buy and what comes in the kit. So firstly, nice and well packaged. This is an international travel, whoops, all the way from China. So really impressed with the foam package on this, not a single scratch on it after all that hours of traveling. Uh, first impressions, really high quality piece of equipment. So there's pressed steel for the, the, the frame, the steel runners. So it just feels like high quality, not a cheap plastic or, or aluminium piece of kit, so which, which I really like and was really very surprised with, to be honest. Looks like I've got the rotary attachment as well. I'm looking forward to giving that a go, especially as most of my stuff tends to be wood turn based as a part of the business. Little support manual, which everything's online, which I like about this. A lot of it's video based, which is far easier for me to, to learn rather than going through loads and loads of instructions. Wow, quite a bit of weight on that, I'm quite surprised. Nice big old motor. So I've got all the parts laid out, ready to assemble. So the big rotary attachment, rotary engraver, I'm really looking forward to using that. So the wires and the riser feet to go along with it. And all the electronics bits I'm gonna to have to plug in following the instructions. So I'm gonna put it together following the video. This was super simple, just some simple allen key bolts that are countersunk so location holes for for everything and i had it all together in about 15 minutes which is far quicker than some ikea furniture i put together in the in the past so if i can do it definitely anyone can so got this guy all put together really really easy some super easy instructions i've been following along on youtube under the uh, x tools channel Fantastic, I'll put the, the link in the, uh, the description below. Whilst assembling, there was only two problems I ran into. So the first problem being there is this rod going across and there's a little tiny bearing that this rod goes into there and the belt was a little bit too tight to allow me to put it into the, the bearing, but it was an easy solution to solve. On the side here, we've got built-in adjustment. So you, this little screw, if you slacken it off, and this screw here, you can slacken the tension of the belt and you can al allow it to, to go into the hole, then tighten it back up. Really like this feature, though they've built in adjustability as well. After a certain amount of time, the belt can stretch and that allows you to put more tension on the, on the belt. The only other slight hiccup that I, I had was uh, the plug that came with the machine is like this. Never seen a plug like that before, so if someone can let me know in the comments where this plug belongs to, that'd be awesome or what country of origin. But in the UK, we have a standard uh, three pin plug uh, like this with a fuse in it. So all I had to do is take one of the, the plugs off an old uh, computer and it slots into the uh, adapter slot then and it worked perfectly. So that just be aware, if you're buying this machine in the UK, they currently don't come with uh, a UK plug. So let's talk about some initial impressions before you even start the machine. Really like the, the steel frame of this. You can see it's quite a substantial, about two millimeters worth of steel, so not thin or plasticky. Uh, really clever construction methods using these countersunk Allen key bolts. And they've got all location holes that have all been CNC milled in the factory. So it comes together really accurately and you've got a nice, rigid, strong, sturdy frame. What I really like about this, compared to other models I've looked at, is this has got a steel runner, so a steel bar, and you've got steel runners along the top, so it's silky smooth in terms of how it runs. And again, underneath, 
with the belt. We've got another steel runner on the bottom. Really, really nice thick belt as well. They're going to last a long time. And we can see we've got two rather substantial stepper motors there in the side for the Y and the X axis to, to move the entire frame around. One really, really nice feature about this is how the diode laser is mounted. Now we've got a dovetail slot and slot there so they marry up together and it's really simple to put this in and get it lined up accurately in the slot slides down. Now in order to set the correct depth of this, this is one of my favourite features of all we've got a little jig on the side so we can put this guy up we've got a jig arm that comes down put it over our material and we're able to then quickly set the required depth using this little thumb screw this is brilliant now I've had laser cutters in the past that I've used autofocus which is quicker and it has a sensor and I've had other laser cutters where you've had to measure the depth in between the material or use these little awkward jigs to adjust the height of the bed so this is quite a nice neat simple way of doing it so we've got the perfect clearance another nice feature of this is we've got this little sort of shroud around the laser cut to protect you your, your eyes and to obviously keep your hands away from the materials additionally they've got these rather cool goggles that I'm always going to be wearing when I've got the laser cutter turned on to protect my eyes so I'm going to quickly talk about the laser box basic which is the free CAD package that comes with the D1 laser cutter so we've got some tools along the top really really simple and basic and easy to use this let's go for the insert tools which are my favorite ones we've got the shortcut to these tools on your keyboard as well indicate on the right hand side let's do the rectangle for example so we can click and drag out the rectangle shape for the size we want we can actually type in the value of the size we want on the right hand side and everything's in millimeters so it's super accurate that's all preset we've got the option then of adding some more shapes into this let's do a heart let's be nice romantic we can drag that out it's really intuitive to use so as we drag it out we've got these blue lines which will help you centralize things if we wanted to then cut the heart out we could go to the cut options and we've got the option of selecting the thickness of the material play around with the power and the speed we could also engrave it so we've got this is my favorite part of this we've got default options you've got basswood which is a bit like plywood cardboard leather stainless steel coated metals as you select one of these let's go basswood for example it will change the power and speed settings to the optimum engraving settings for this so you're going to have a lot of hard time working these out which is really nice we can also, which is a lovely, lovely feature, is add text to this. Let's add my wife's name and we can move that then to the centre of the heart. We can resize. And again, I really like the fact that you've got the, the blue line there to help you centralise things. Notice all of this is not connected to the internet at the moment, which is allowing me to design offline. I can print offline, but the laser cutter itself has a built in Wi-Fi so you can connect to it um through the wi-fi unit uh, but it's really nice the fact that you can design offline unlike some of the other CAD packages that come with laser curtains like the glowforge for example it's all web based now because this is a basic package you can import your own designs from other CAD packages so i've got a little logo that i've designed in a separate CAD package i've just imported in and it'll help convert that within seconds into a raster image so allow me to raster engrave my branding onto my products really quickly and easily. It's one of the reasons I wanted a laser cutter. Another amazing feature is you can import images. So I'm gonna import a little picture of my Border Collie Connie, and it will convert that again within seconds into a raster image that I can engrave. And this is something I'm really looking forward to using, I think especially with clients engraving images, it's really gonna help personalize my work and make it stand out. We can have a go at trying this out in cardboard to see if it works really well and then we can play around with some more of the other features. That is amazing! Look at that!
It's incredible. Really, really cool. Especially the bark, look at that. So a really neat feature, it's got these crosshair laser beams there. Um, what you can do as soon as you click the framing button is it will sort of indicate where that material will be engraved or cut out, which is a nice, neat tool. So we're going to have a go at doing some raster engraving now. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So I've got my goggles on, ready to go. Wow, it's pretty impressive. You see the level of detail on that. Very happy with that. Yeah, see, so that's why I can use it to brand a lot of my items. It is quite smoky in here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but that's something I'm going to have to deal with. Maybe make an extraction hood over the top of it, but that's something maybe X Tools could do in the future is make a, a unit that you could buy separately to go over the top of this to extract the themes out. I'd, I'd definitely be interested in that. We're going to have a go at doing some cutting now on a bit of cardboard. So I put this to basswood setting, so it overpowered the laser really, so it could have done half the, the, the settings. But according to the, the manual, you can reach up to 10 millimeters of cutting depth on other materials. Right, so we're going to try out with a little pebble now to see if we can engrave some words onto the stone. So I'm just going to frame it to make sure it's in the right place. Good job I did. Yeah, I'll do. So, so far I've been really impressed with the accuracy of the laser. So it can cut up to 0 0.08 of a millimetre with the beam. So it's super accurate, crisp lines. And it can move smoothly to speeds of 160 millimetres per second. You can see along the steel rail on the top how smooth this is running. What? That's crazy. <laughs> so cool. So I'm going to have a go at doing a dog tag for my dog. Let's see how we get on with this. So I've got it all set up and framed. Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's get the number on the back and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to attempt to do a larger image now because it's going to take me 35 minutes to make sure I'm supervising the laser cutter at all times. I'm going to click on my framing tool just to make sure everything's within the right size. Looking good so far. I'm going to click start then and we're going to get this guy running. Really impressed with how powerful the laser is. So it's got a power output of 10 watts and for a diode laser that's really competitive on the market. How it achieves that is it combines the beams of two laser modules to achieve that 10 watt laser output. Now it's that laser output you want to look out for in choosing a laser because that will give you an indication of how powerful that laser is. That is so cool. It's incredible the amount of detail in there. It looks very lifelike, like a photograph. So that's my uh, sister's dog Lola, so I think I'm going to give that as part of my Christmas present this year. That's really cool. So in tonight's video, we've only really scratched the surface with the capabilities of this laser cutter, just engraving a little Christmas coaster. But hopefully in future videos, I'm gonna make a lot more incorporating the laser cutter into really cool projects. So I hope you've taken something really positive from tonight's video, it's helped you out in some way. If it has, please give us a, a thumbs up and share with friends, really appreciate that. And subscribing to the channel as well would be great. So I hope you have a fantastic Christmas, or as we'd say in Wales, a dolly clowing. No star.